my question is that um, in my school, like they have lots of haram things in the school. They have lots of things, haram things in the school. Like they make us do music. They make us have like the like, indoor uh, celebrations, stuff like that. And then I want to go to an Islamic school, yeah, but sometimes my parents don't have the ability to take me to an Islamic school. And they say that it's like time to fit now right now, so just try to avoid the major sins. So then uh, what I just do is I just try to do the minimum I can and I try to avoid as much as I can because the teacher says if I don't if I don't do like what they tell me to do, they they're gonna call like the head teacher and stuff like that. So that's why I just try to do as much as as little as I can in this in the sinning part. Um, so am I sin? Am I, am I sinful? Because I don't I don't know what to do because I can't I can't go to the same school. I, I've tried to tell my parents. First of all, it is not permissible to engage in haram activities at school. We Muslims have a purpose on this earth, and that is to establish the religion of Allah and to carry His commands to the best of our ability. When we come to the fork of the road and we have to choose between following Sharia or following man-made laws and regulations, and when following man-made laws and regulations, I am completely disobeying Allah Azza wa Jal and falling into sin. I have to stop this and not do it. And would not justify it by saying, well, if I don't comply, this would happen and that would happen. At the end of the day, I'm as a Muslim ordered to not to fall into sin. And we're not talking about something that is mandatory as the law of the country, such as vehicle insurance, for example. Okay, there's nothing I can do. If, if I want to drive, I have to do that. But to go to a school and to listen to their nonsense, filth, and kufr and disbelief, Maybe if we forced to engage in physical education, freely mix, go to the swimming pool with the opposite gender, maybe have wrestling matches with the opposite gender and touching and coercing. What is this? When it's going to end? What's the bottom line? Where you say, no, taking off my clothes? No, I, don't, I won't do this. Anything else is okay. So... This is where you guys have to draw the line. Your parents have to draw the line. Allah did not force you to go to, to such countries and live among the disbelievers until you're stripped of your religion. You compromise your religion. You have to make a stand. They say it's democracy. They say this. Put your foot down and say enough is enough. We're Muslims. We don't do these things. So this is the bottom line that you have to find a way out of it and may Allah make things easy for you.